Hey everybody, welcome back. And I have got another great recipe for you. Everybody loves mashed potatoes, but what about smashed potatoes? Your chef is going to show you, food creators, how to make some great smashed potatoes. Okay, so some time ago I did potato salad. And I was talking about there's a difference in potatoes. You got mealy potatoes and you have waxy potatoes. So today I have the actual mealy potatoes. Mealy potatoes, if you can see, I didn't clean these. They actually have the dirt on them. That, that lets you know that they're mealy. And these are the waxy potatoes. They're, the skin is different. You can, it actually does feel waxy. There's no grit on there at all. So these are the potatoes that you would use. They have bigger versions of these as well. These are the ones that you would use if you're making potato salad. These are the ones that you would use if you wanted nice, flaky mashed potatoes. So today for my mashed potatoes, my smashed potatoes, this is what I'm going to use. All right, so here we go. We got diced potatoes. What I did was they don't have to be, you know, all fancy smancy, y'all. We just want them to be small enough so that they won't take forever to cook. But I wanted to do it differently. I like to put mine in the microwave. Now, if you don't want to do it in the microwave, you can put it on the stove and boil them until they become fork tender. Check out my potato salad video, you'll see how I do that. But today I'm going to go ahead and put these in the microwave in my Epicure multi steamer. And if you don't have a multi steamer, you can look at my link and get one from my wonderful rep, Suzanne Bagley. But um, right now I have the seeds in them. You're probably wondering why I have the skins on there. Well, the skins have a lot of vitamins in it, y'all, and a lot of fiber. So I like to have mine with the skins on. Now you can do yours without the skin, it's up to you, because remember what I said. Alright, so I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 12 minutes and let it do its magic. Come on back. Alright, so here we go. We got our beautiful potatoes nice and steaming. Now what I like to do is I like to season just a little bit with some salt first and then I'm going to put them back in the microwave. But they are fork tender. Some of them aren't quite as tender as I would like. So I'm going to put them back in there for about a couple more minutes and then we're going to get it together. So here are the potatoes and I got it in my mixing bowl. All right. So we, we got to make sure these potatoes, we already know they're fork tender, but I want to taste them because I did put some salt on there. Mm -hmm. They're salty enough. Now, but what about when I mix them up? Okay, so we're gonna put the butter on here. This is cold butter. Cause I, I and honestly, you could just put the um, butter in here with the milk and just start it off all everything hot. But let's mash these puppies. We're gonna smash them. Like I said, this is smashed potatoes. So we getting the butter in there all yummy and from the heat. This is just one way that you don't have to worry about it. Just mix it around. The more butter, the better. Now, you can go less on the butter if you want, but this is my recipe, so I want more butter, more butter. Right? So before I put the milk in there, I'm going to keep the, because I don't want to get creamy yet. Alright, so we're going to season this. I want some onion powder on here. Garlic powder. And now in culinary school, they told us to use white pepper, but I don't have any white pepper, so you know me, I'll tell you, you can use what you got at home. So this is cracked black pepper. Again, this is optional. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this. The reason why they tell us to use white pepper is because it looks like, you know, bugs, but that's what I got. <laughs> so we're going to stir this up with the potato smasher. And I know it looks a mess right now. Then we've got to put a little bit more salt in here. This is smashed, old-fashioned smashed. So we're going to put our milk in here. 
And I just got to tell y'all, ooh, it's hot in here. If you know, if you can't stand the heat, you got to get out the kitchen, right? If you really want these to be decadent potatoes, use heavy cream, y'all. Use heavy cream and make sure your cream is, you want to make sure your cream is hot, though, because you want it to be cooked when you put it in here. I'm not trying to make anybody sick. So see how it's coming together and it's getting nice and creamy? I used whole milk. And you could do cream cheese too if you like. Cream cheese, sour cream, whatever. So now we have to taste. You gotta taste. Make sure it's seasoned the way you want. Ooh, I taste that garlic. I taste the garlic. But I gotta put a little bit more salt in there, especially for some people that. Where's the salt? <laughs> because I don't like a lot of salt. But I want to just say this to you. You're never going to salt anything as much as the foods people, the food processors. You're never going to salt them that much. So never worry about how much salt you're putting in there compared to that. Just a splash of milk just to make it a little bit more creamier. Stir this around. All right. Time to chase, taste again. So remember what I said, you always want to use a single use spoon. I have other spoons over here, okay? So this is a single use spoon. Homemade, homemade. Stop getting this stuff out the box, y'all. It wasn't that hard. Or even the stuff in the refrigerator section. You can make your own potatoes. It's so easy. This is one of those recipes that you can get your kids or your grandkids involved. Because at a young age, they need to learn how to cook. Cooking is something that we all need to learn how to do. Oh, good old mashed potatoes. Look at them steaming. How do you like yours? With some green onions on there? Do you need more butter? Well, I'm not going to put any more butter on there. <laughs> and if you don't like green onions, you can always do chives, y'all. I'm Chef Sonny King, King Creations PCS. See you next time.